So Canyon just launched the new Ultimate CFR and there's an absolute ton of reviews all over YouTube. Well, probably like you, I'm enjoying a brew on a Sunday morning and flicking through some of them. And well, I just had some thoughts. I thought I'd turn the camera on and, and share them with you. First of all, the reviews are, I mean, they're plentiful, that's for sure, but no one's really got to the the gritty parts of the actual bike. Most of the reviews are just reviewing the component choice and the weight. The GCN show actually did an interesting interview with the actual frame designer and they were talking about the challenges between the aerodynamic company, the design company and the carbon layup company and how that was all coming together. And he was a really interesting guy because I think he won the argument. And the reason I say that is because I really like the design of the Ultimate. I think as a design project, it's really aesthetically pleasing. Like how the, the angle of the down tube and the chain stays match and how the angles of all the various parts around the head tube all kind of match and work together. It's like a really premium car designer, like the house of Pina Farina or something. Someone's really put some effort into the various curves and dimensions to make it actually look like a really lovely bike. There's a few things that kind of get my goat, if you like, when I'm flicking through, flicking through the range. There's a lot of smoke and mirrors going on here and I wish companies would stop doing it. Like, you can actually buy the Ultimate CFR disc as a frame and brake kit, which is an interesting way of doing it because they've already pre-installed the Dura Ace brakes. They've already made that decision for you. So if you wanted to buy a frame and build it up with SRAM, that's that's not an option. You have to have the Shimano Di2. And I imagine they've done that because they've got some very, very favorable pricing from Shimano to do that. Now that lever and brake kit, I mean the RRP on that, they're almost 600 pounds each. That's 1,200 pounds worth of, of levers. I know what the trade price is. I can imagine what they paid for it. They probably paid around 500 quid for that, that set to bolt onto their fantastic price. There's also some really weird inconsistencies when you delve down. It says it's a 27.2 seat post and it's clearly not round. What really bothers me is that's 4,949 pound frame and brake kit, uh, which puts it right up there with things like Penarello and, and Look um, and we haven't really got a glimpse as to why. Like those frame manufacturers are always um, showing you the fine details of why their bikes cost so much and they haven't done that here. They haven't given us a glimpse into you know, their finishing standards. Obviously using press fit because if you want to advertise you've got a lightweight bike, that's the only way that you can get a lightweight bike is to remove parts that take up weight. So, and then blame it on the bottom bracket companies for adding the weight back in again, but whatever. What's also interesting is that the sort of the bottom of the range full build is still hideously expensive for a road bike. Um, but again, it's that thing where the cost of all the components, even though that they're getting them at OEM prices, doesn't really put much value on the actual frame, which always in my mind sends alarm bells ringing because how are they actually making the money? Are they making the money off the fantastic discounts that they get from DT Swiss and Shimano and SRAM? or are they actually making money from the part that they actually supposedly manufacture, which is the frame. So yeah, it always just gets my goat a little bit. The, the CF version, um, you can't buy as a frame set, which again, just is a massive red flag for me because they obviously don't want you looking uh, closely at the details of that CF. I think if they could put a CF frame out there at a really good price, that was reflective of the full build. I think that'd be a really tasty option. I mean, there's a, a 105 option here um, at 2,109 quid, which um, seems like fantastic value. But again, you add up the price of all the components, taking into account that they get fantastic discounts, and it really doesn't make the frame, the actual part that Canyon make, particularly valuable, shall we say. So yeah, I was just, um, I really wish um, all these reviews like GCN and cycling radar and bike radar and stuff would uh, would get the tools out take the bottom bracket out let's see what's in there let's have a look at the the dropouts I'm really interested to see how the the rear mech hanger works on this something that Canyon have always been pretty poor at and and actually you can't always remove the axle and fit it to a turbo trainer there's a few things they've changed they've changed to a, a 1.75 millimeter thread which is unusual they tend to have a, a one millimeter thread which is a pain because it's a really unusual axle design so there's a few things they're changing that no one really got into the nitty-gritty about um, the headset for instance are they still using that Acros headset which again is a pain to try and find bearings for okay the supply's got a lot better in recent years and you can get them from alternative sources now but like compared to other brands which are just using 
simple bearing sizes there's no need for them to be unusual in that in that regard so yeah i just really wish some of those reviews got into the details that actually matter the things that actually canyon had an influence and yeah kudos to the frame designer because i think in that trilogy of aero carbon manufacturing and design i think i think he won the argument because it's a fantastic looking bike yeah so as always this is me sharing my opinion i always want to hear your opinion what do you think um, have you had a look at some of those reviews did you get excited by it did you get excited by the read through of the press release or were you left thinking hmm things aren't quite added up the same way as i am let me know right finish this up let's get out for a ride <laughs>